I know what you're thinking. It's the seventh episode in this helpful series. Time to start painting, right? Is that so? Nothing we've forgotten to talk about? Oh, really? Well, then I guess we'll just paint with any old brushes and rollers we find lying around. <laughs> That's okay. We can't all be Carla's on our first try. Let's think back to those important details Carla told us about at the store. Now, some unwary painters think that a brush is a brush is a brush, and that their project will come out great no matter what brush they use. But we handy people know that that's just not so. That's why Carla ensured that your brush was an angled brush, most commonly between two and a half to three inches. Now, since you are using latex paint, Carla picked out a polyester brush to ensure the job gets done right. But you're gonna need more than brushes for those wide open areas. Remember what Carla taught us about rollers? They also come in a variety of sizes and materials. Carla picked out a 10 millimeter semi-smooth lint-free roller for your project. You won't find excess lint on the wall or in the paint with this old boy. Now, I know I can't be the only one around here who gets a sore back after a hard day's painting. That's why Carla recommended an extension pole. It's much safer and quicker than your old-fashioned ladder and much easier on your back. Ah, clever girl. You see, Christine knows that if you apply primer with a brush, you'll be dealing with visible brush strokes when you apply the finishing coat. That's why you should always apply primer with a roller. Notice that this primer is tinted to half strength of the finished coat to promote maximum coverage. Quality job! My goodness, looks like this wall isn't the only thing primed for a good paint job. 